Hello and welcome to Funk, Furman University's daily news show. Today is Friday, February 15th, 2019. I'm David. And I'm Eric. The weather for today will be scattered showers of a high of 63 and a low of 54. Delta Gamma will be selling cookies outside of the PETA on Monday and Tuesday during lunch. Cookies are worth $3 and with milk are $5. The Echo, Furman's only literary and arts magazine, is still accepting submissions. They're looking for your ravings, your rantings, your truthful, your weird. Submit your fiction, creative nonfiction, poetry, studio art, or photography to FurmanEcho.Submittable.com. Deadline for submissions is this Sunday. There will be a free improv show from Furman's improv group called Love Hurts, Good Things There's Improv, tonight at 8 p.m. in Burgess Theater. Anime Club in the Furman Library, with support from Funimation, will be hosting a showing of the anime movie, The Girl Who Leapt Through Time, based on the book of the same name. Watch as the main protagonist, Makoto Kono, discovers her newfound ability of time leaping, and how this newfound power affects the world around her. The special showing will take place today from 2.30 to 5 in Library Room 043. Are you a Furman student who has studied abroad? Tell your story during Furman Engage Day, and you can win up to $100. Deadline for submissions is next Friday. If you're looking for more information, contact Ben Efford. And now, it's time for our Furman Sports Recap. Our tennis team beat Liberty last weekend with a score of 5-2. to two. Today, we have another match at Marshall at 4 p.m. Last night, our basketball boys kicked off UNCG's butt with a score of 67 to 57. Our men's basketball also takes on VMI this Saturday at 4.30 in the Timmins Sports Arena. The game will also be on ESPN3 and ESPN Plus for those who can't attend the game. Our men's lacrosse lost to UNC Chapel Hill last Saturday in a 10 to 14 defeat. Our men's lacrosse will be taking on Canisius this Tuesday at 7, and women's lacrosse will take on Presbyterian this Wednesday at 6 in the Paladin Stadium. And now for a slamming segment this week in the news. This week in the news, a woman-led team of scientists in Mexico has discovered a cure for HPV. This group was led by Eva Ramon Gallegos. The upcoming full moon, which can be seen the 19th, will be the largest and brightest supermoon in 2019, so be on the lookout. Our very own Furman Board of Trustees has been awarded the AGB John W. Nason Award. This honors and celebrates our board's strong leadership and strong focus on governance. The lucky lottery ticket of $1.5 billion that was bought in Simpsonville, South Carolina, is still unclaimed. If the winner does not come forward within the next two months, he or she will have to forfeit all the money. That's all we have for today, Paladins. Make sure to check out our website, www.cantstopthefunk.com, to submit announcements and watch all of our previous episodes. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and download the Funk mobile app to keep up with everything that's happening on Furman's campus. Have a nuts National Almond Day, and tune in again on Monday for our next episode. Thank you.